Very well, amigos, we made it. This is Chichen Itza. It was a long trip, I know. What means Chichen Itza? The meaning, it is the mouth of the world, of the whistle of the world. But this pyramid, it is important for some a phenomenon, the one we have only twice a year. We call it equinox. That means equal day, equal night. Now, please pay attention to the level in your left side. Represent the body of Kumpulkan, the feather serpent. What happened in the equinox? At four, you will see a few beams of light. The one pass through those levels and hit the stairs. At four, you will see these triangles appear one by one, little by little, from the top to the bottom. Kupulkan is coming down from the heaven to the earth. And his tongue touched the soil because this guy comes twice a year to fertilize the soil to have good agriculture. And after 10 minutes, these triangles disappear. But now, disappear from the bottom to the top one by one because now Kukulkan is going back to the heaven. Amigos, the Mayas came to the city to see Kukulkan coming down but also to listen to his voice. Do you know what is a Quetzal? Quetzal, it is a bird. The Quetzal is tiny but the feathers of his tail are huge. It was a sacred bird, right? Mm -hmm. Why? When the Quetzal is flying, the body of the Quetzal looks like the head of one snake and the feathers of the tail like the body of the snake. So they saw representation, right? Mm. They said, looks like a feather snake flying. And according to the Mayan people, the voice of the Quetzal, it is the voice of Kukulkan. Yes. Wow. This is the ball ball. Maybe you hear about this. Amigos, the purpose of this game, it was hit a rubber ball through the ring. Take a look to the ball. Oh, my God. So oh wow. Up there, at five meters over the ground. It's, amigos, this ball was eight to ten pounds. It was heavy, but the Mayas, they were not using their hands, not their feet. They were playing using their shoulder, their elbow, their hip. Sounds impossible, right? But guess what the Mayans did it. Amigos, for Mayan people, this is not a game. This is a ceremony and one of the most important ones. Only the gods play this. And one day the gods decide to steal the sun. To play with the sun down there. You know, they're gods, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. But as you know, there is always the good guy in the movie, right? In this case, it was twins. These guys went to the underworld and they defeat the gods in their own game. Amigos, the gold court players represent gods. And that's why the Mayas picked the gold court players when they were children. And they picked them because they were faster or stronger than the rest. So imagine that you put a children in here and he trained during 10 or 15 years. He tried to hit this ball through the ring during 10 or 15 years. He will do it. It is not impossible, but it is very hard. Now, amigos, we are in the largest ball court all over Mesoamerican territory. That means that only the best of the best came to play in it here. This is like the Super Bowl, right? Mm -hmm. So, the job of the captain is hit the ball through the ring. The rest of the ball court players, they are in here to pass the ball to his captain. We believe that this game comes to the end at the first score. Amigos, if this game represents the sky, the heaven, the sun, gods, that means that at the end you have to sacrifice one of the ball court players. The question is, which one? So according to this, has to be the captain of the winner team. Yeah. Right? Which kind of human sacrifice? Follow me to show you the carving is right there. Inside of the wheel, you have a skull. This represents death. Now, next to him, you will see the ball court players. But pay attention to this gentleman. He's in a kneeling position like this. You will see his legs, you have his mm -hmm. arms, he has a neck. But what happened after the neck? There's no head. The head is gone. Yeah. And take a look at this gentleman, the one in the other team. He's holding a head with his hand. Yeah. In here. Yeah. You will see the headdress, oh, the wow. eye, the nose, the mouth, the neck, and the blood. This head belongs to him. So, 
only in this ball court, only in Chichen Itza Mayan practice, decapitation, okay?